question. Yeah. What did I ask you not to do up the hall? Um. Walk in after being out with big muddy footprints. I was just getting your bag up. I know. I did ask you specifically not to do that. Thank you for getting my bag for me now. I would not have been able to manage that myself. Well, you just ruined me recording. Did I? Yeah. Well, you, well <coughs> you knew after the length of time I spent in there that I was going to come out with you. Why is that going out? I don't know if you did, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I must have plugged it in properly. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Here we go. That's still not coming out. No. That's your pen right now. An hour. What? Yep. Why? You can communicate with your family now for that. On the road, Jason. The, the, um, we're a bit cooped up because we haven't had a proper trip since Christmas. So the plan is to go out. Now we knew we were always going to go out this weekend, but Storm Dennis has blown in. Eyes on the road. Storm Dennis. Storm Dennis has blown in. I can see, I can do this. Storm Dennis has blown in, but we're determined to go away anyway. So um, we don't know what we're going to do. Uh, we're just going to be hardcore today and then play it by ear. So I don't know. Whatever we do is a mystery to me as well. To the interesting one, Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, I don't know if you can make it out in the distance, but that's Spike Island over there. So the plan was the plan was to come down go to Spike Island and there's a ferry that takes you over and then you spend a few hours over there. So what Spike Island was, I think at one stage it was a British naval base, probably. And then the Irish government turned it into a prison and um, they used to keep the very bold criminals in over there, didn't they? Mm -hmm. And um, so the plan was to come down and see, but um, there's obviously nothing happening today. It's just so bad out. It's very stormy. So, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Oh, we're in Cove, by the way. <laughs> Cove and County Cork. So we've driven, it's a 350 kilometer drive. Is that right? No. That can't be right. Can't it's be not right. 350 kilometers, is it? No, I mustn't, I mustn't. 35, I think, then, Jay. No. So, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to sit here now and ponder our existence and think about what we'll do. The Titanic was built down here, did you tell them that? Some of it. No, the Titanic used to go from here. Go from here, was it? Well, yeah, it was it built. Only ever went it was built. Once, it so was built in Belfast. So wasn't it used to go? Have, it only went once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it didn't. Uh, it was supposed to be a round trip. Oh, that's not funny. That's not funny. It's insensitive. <laughs> so. Um, you should have thought about it before you said it. Then. Yeah. So, uh, what are we saying? The. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do. Never think about it. Mm. Right. It looks like it's sort of soupy or something like that, isn't it? Look at the way it's so, you know, it's weird, isn't it? So that's Cove Cathedral up there that we're thinking of going up to. Um, and then there's the Titan Titanic experiences there or something like that. The last time we were here, there was a band on that bandstand that I remember. 
I, we have been here before. There is a video. Oh, wait now. There is a video. Would you believe? What's going on here? There is a video of um, us being here before. And it was, uh, was it about three, is it three years ago, eh? Mm, and I was yeah. flying the drone and I was still learning how to fly the drone. I flew it over that cathedral I did. Yeah, this is the only thing about not having the, the, uh, the water just drip straight in. That's the only thing about not having those um, wind deflectors. Right. See, it says fortress by the island. It's getting shaken all over the place. That's the cathedral there. That's as close as we've gotten so far. Oh, it's because it's blowing it. Look at that. Whoa. Storm Dennis. Ah. Yeah, I don't think it'll be. Uh, I don't think there'll be too much camping tonight, what do you think? Alright, we'll right, have a think about it. So we went to um, a place called Red Barn. Um, I didn't bother video on it because um, well, there was a hotel, so it's like a beach you can drive onto. But in this kind of weather, we couldn't. It was just too too rocky and so on. And uh, we went into the hotel. We were considering actually possibly staying in the hotel because the weather is just a bit too nuts. What? Why didn't you stay in it? Why didn't we stay in the hotel? Yeah, the people want to know. 
We didn't we didn't stay in a hotel. Would you like a prawn wrapper or an open prawn salad sandwich, Chris or Jason? Huh? Would you like a prawn wrapper or an open prawn salad sandwich on brown bread, soda bread? Which would you like? No, a wrap would be easier to eat, wouldn't it? Wrap, okay. Yeah, thank you. So we, we didn't um we went into the hotel just to use the loo and stuff like that, but the, the, the bar was just too cold, freezing cold. So we were like, no, we won't stay there either. You know, just the thing. So what we've done, we've driven up the coast, about a half hour from that place. Now I'd, I'd recommend Red Barn during the summer, wouldn't you? Red Barn was lovely. Um, so I'd recommend Red Red Barn during the summer, a nice hotel on the beach. I didn't see and, a red and a barn nice beach. No. So we, that's what I said, we've driven half an hour up the coast to a place called Ardmore, which is a beautiful little seaside village that I've heard loads and loads and loads about, but I've never come. But I have to say, it is, there's a beautiful beach here. So just to show you, that is the beach. Just, just this so you can see. So you can see, that's the beach there. And so where we are now is we've just pulled into this little kind of car park here. And it's good because it has like uh, toilet facilities and they're really clean and so on. And that's the thing. The only the only irritating thing is when we were up in Cove, the wind caught my door when I opened it, pulled the door out of my hand and pulled it back. And I think the door, it's not, it's closing, but I just noticed there's a little bit of a, I think the door has been misaligned ever so slightly. So just a top tip to yourself not to, not to do what I did and open the door, so it's a bit frustrating. But I, I, I think, am I imagining if I, this door always did close, it always took a couple of, didn't it? Hmm. No? Yeah. I think it did, I think this door always needed, I think the alignment was, I've noticed it in the past, but but I think I've made it worse now. Um, but the wind, the wind did really catch, it really did catch it and pull it out of my hand, which, is, did. which is very frustrating because I'd only just opened it a bit and boom! And the door swung back. So I just think I'll have to get it looked at. If anyone knows anyone in Dublin who's good at looking at stuff like that, let me know. Beautiful beach. Be amazing during the summer. It's a great spot. It's very nice. It's just such a mad day. Just totally crazy weather. <laughs> I mean, what you expect? It is a storm. But uh, I think the thing is, it's good to kind of scout around at this time of year to sort of check these spaces out while they're quiet. You know, just just easier to get in and get out of. But I definitely will come back here. It's lovely. You probably can't hear me above all the noise.
look at the storm surge. Is that the coming in? Look, stand this. You feel yourself. <laughs> oh, shit. It's lucky I was on it. Oh. Like, seriously, the water come up. I was on this rock. And the water come up over my feet. I was here. Standing here. And the water come up from all the way out there. Look how far it's gone out. Like, it came all the way in, right up, more or less submerged me on this rock. Oh, I better get off it. I was on that little rock, and it just got totally... It, that, that is amazing how far it came in. Oh, I nearly panicked there. So, the plan was, today, was to try and, you know, have some kind of little trip away and stuff like that, but it's proven to be, this is the first time we've ever kind of come away during the storm, really, isn't it? Uh, so, it may have been a bit foolhardy, you know, it's already, I already nearly drowned out there on the rocks <laughs> and you guys wouldn't have known you'd have looked up and gone where is he gone I'd have been washed out to sea that's just got to show how easy it happens and I've strained the door and what else about to be poisoned by your wife oh sorry did I say that aloud yeah I got it recorded but uh, this is a nice spot though isn't it yeah, a nice spot very cold. very cold very cold I don't think it's I think it's the weather that's probably a little bit cold it is nice though, definitely we'll come back, but I'd say packed during the summer, like there's no room. It's very small. And you can't... Oh, you can drive onto the beach. Can you? Yeah, look, there's a ramp over there. So clearly you can park, it's another beach that you can drive onto, obviously, during the summer. I'd come down here during the summer, would you? Mm. Nice, bon appetit. I don't like dark chocolate, because it's... Dark chocolate is something adults tend to like because it's sour. Bitter. It's Me more and bitter. I don't like dark chocolate. Well, okay. But don't tag my dad. I wasn't, I, I, I wasn't, I was about to say that, that's why he doesn't like it because adults like it. Yeah. And, and interesting, that's why adults, as you grow older, not only does your eyesight, your hearing, uh, things like that go, your taste buds start to lose their sensitivity as well. So people like, bitter things. They're the things that kind of cut through. Anyway, so this is the best part, isn't it? You're Sitting the here, the mm -hmm. heat on, Vanessa's yeah. fetus with a beautiful wrap. And I'm sitting here having, oh. I'm having Van, I'm having Van coffee, which is the best coffee. Are yeah, you? yeah. Oh. What do you think I'm talking to myself? I know, I was wondering, are you going to why you were doing a dialogue for us. I thought you were going insane. <laughs> The heat's on, that's the noise in the background, the heat's on. And uh, Vanessa has something something for me somewhere, have you? I do. I almost sang a copyrighted song. Me too. <laughs> so, the next thing then is to head on to Dungarvan because according to our good friend, Aaron, there's a, now, I would have said air, but he said air, and I think it is air. Air. A I uh, well, it's A-I-R-E, but it, it looks Ire, but that could be because maybe we're Irish. There's a person. And it just looks Irish. To, it looks there's a person Irish in my class, to us. Dad, there's a person in my class who can speak fluent Irish, and Happy's they say there. air. Happy there, don't push it off the edge. Yeah, but like it's... you just have pushed the bin on top of my head. <laughs> didn't, do it on, didn't do it on purpose. So, so, that's, so the plan is to go to Dungarvan. So Gar Dungarvan's a lovely spot. And if we do sleep there in the air or the air, It'll be our second it time. It couldn't be any noise It'll be your like second. I have to open these. <laughs> It'll be our second mind. time staying in Dungarvan. It was our first camp over, wasn't it? Yeah. First place we ever stayed in the van, Wild Camp was there. First camp, wasn't it? First yeah. thing we ever did. We only had it. Yeah. And we didn't know anything. I have to have the heating on because my feet are soaked. And the heating has to dry out my shoes. 
I, don't know, I should have put my boots on. It is very blustery today, isn't it? Yeah. You almost died. How would you know? You haven't been outside once. Because I don't want to go outside. You literally got it once to go into the toilet to go to the toilet. Go into the hotel to and the I couldn't car. even open the door of the hotel. The wind and cork was something today. else, though, wasn't it? So, I don't think there'll be any drone shots in the video or anything like that. I don't think I'll be sending a drone up in that radar. It's too wet, drone too windy. Are you sending us to say? No. We should copyright drone should be asking us have we anything to say? Nadia, off the mic. Drone, drone. Drone, drone, yeah. yeah. Remember, why are you recording cookies? Oh, no, 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 no. He's killing me because I'm a cookie. Ah. Oh, Dad, I'm under the. Oh! Whoa! So. So spacious. Here's a question for anyone watching do, do you guys go out in storms and rain? And would you do something like this? Or does everyone only go out in their van when the weather's good? And nice. Now I don't mean, see the thing is people you go out in snow, but that's different. I think snowy, cold, really cold weather is the equivalent of the summer. It's appropriate, and but I think this weather is a nightmare, isn't it? Because it's raining and windy and everything like that, so. I don't believe in saying bad weather. People just say it's a bad choice in clothing. It's just, the weather is what it is. You said hi as I hit record, haha. <laughs> so this is, this is, so, so. <laughs> This is what I was saying when I was doing the review. See, this is Vanessa using the sink here now. So, what, what would your comments be, V, on the sink usage? I don't know what you mean, because you haven't let me use the sink. That's this exactly like, the This point. is like the first time to That's actually e use it. Well, yeah, but on a campsite, you'd go up and do the dishes up yeah. there. But we wouldn't pour that down into the... You wouldn't but pour that's that. any water. Yeah, but we wouldn't... You see, this is the thing, I, I like... Uh. We can pour it outside, but it is only water. <clears throat> with a bit of detergent in it like so I don't I don't understand your issue if you can't pour something like that down the sink what's the point in having a sink can you stop and record it? no I was just trying to because I'd hit some button about the focusing oh. the grey water down inside mm. is it just water water mm. yeah but you see it's as easy for me just to throw it outside now yeah no and I appreciate that but what I'm saying is if you can't use it to do that what's the point in having it that's mm. not fit for purpose well, it is, I suppose. Yeah, like, I'm assuming you can pour just basic water down into it. But mm -hmm. the, the point I'm making is, if you can just fire it out outside, then why not? Mm. It's just one less thing to do. But this is the point I'm saying that, like, do people use the great? See, I suppose if you if you didn't have the opportunity to dispose of the water, yeah, I mean, then you would be forced to, you to pour do. a bit of water anywhere. Do you know what I mean? But, but I know not. Some people might not. I mean, if you were parked up in Paris, maybe. My thing is, why can't you just use it? You know? Mm. Okay, well look, that's the point I was making. That when Vanessa was doing her bits and pieces, that that's basically... So what we'll do now is try that out. But that's the sink in use, because I was saying we don't really use it a whole lot. I think that's the first time I've ever used it. I've used the basin itself a couple of times, but... Dad, your door is going to explode. Why? Don't say that now. Don't say that. I single-handedly do all the damage to the van. I don't know what that is about. And you always give me any damage, any serious damage to the van, any kind of serious damage to the van has been done by me. And you always give out about us. I always tell you to be super careful, but the stuff and always happens to me. And you do all the damage. Yeah, it's just now. I see. Can I open the door now? So when I shut it, it's okay. Ah! Shuts fine, but I think the thing is, it's just not. Sometimes. It's not. Um, the other door shuts a lot. It when you push it shut, it doesn't just go clunk. You kind of have to, it's, I think the door's just moved down slightly. Where are we gonna sleep? I'm obsessing over it, anyway. Where are we gonna sleep? I don't know. Is, is, is We're gonna is go to Dungarvan. How far is that? I'm not sure, half an hour from here. Really. Power supply disconnected. Your device will go sleeping. So this is the, this is the air, or air, or whatever it's called that we've parked in. Um, so that van came in 30 seconds behind us and we parked in just ahead of him, so that's where we are now. We've leveled her off. And what we're going to do is now head into Dungarvan. So it is, it's a bit more sheltered here, isn't it? Yeah. It's not as bad, but it's still pretty miserable. Okay, let's.
let's go. So we're in Dungarvan. This is the the what's it called? No, the anchor bar. Parked around the corner. And this is probably the amount of the exploring we'll do. It's a very nice pub, isn't it? The anchor bar. It's very nice. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's very buddy. Yeah, very comfortable too. I, mean, I think I'm zoomed in. Are you? I think I've had too many beers. You have your beer goggles on. Um, what's that name of that beer I was drinking? Beer on Moretti. It's, I love that beer. Since I had it in Italy that last summer, it was beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. Right, we're going this way. Right, thank you. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank because we can't have copyright strike. Oh no. Christian, food. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Food! Dad. Oh. Christian. <gasps> yeah? Mom. I have to get down. I know. Come on. Where are you going? There's no room. I don't, exactly. I don't know how to. So what are you doing? Where are you going to sit? You're going to sit beside your mammy, yeah? No, he's going to sit there, Jay. On that chair there. <gasps> Pick up all your crap. I ah, know. That's there. where, that's where no, Gimbal sits. let him sit there. Wait, that now. is a chair Relax. for a human being. Relax. <laughs> I'm recording all this. I don't care. This is not Maybe good to be recording. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not editing this out. I'm not, edit I'm not editing this out, right? I'm not editing this out. And I can't say editing. <laughs> Probably. I've had too many beers. I know it's caught on something right now. <laughs> Nobody can see why we get so stressed when we come away. You're a bad example, Vanessa. <laughs> You're terrible. You're a beautiful child. I am, yeah. I'm a beautiful, mommy's a beautiful child. <laughs> no, no, beautiful you're a beautiful day. child. Now be careful, right? There's expensive equipment in inappropriate places. Yeah. Now. You should be placing them appropriately, That's Gimbalatron okay. and the monitor. Now. Is it still recording? There you go. That's too bright. So what we did was we um, we stayed in the pub because it was too wet uh, to go wandering around Dungarvan. So that's what we did. We went. Um, that was lovely, wasn't it? With the fire Beautiful. and very nice. That Moretti beer, man, I totally love that Moretti beer. So then we um, we basically come back. So what we what we're rocking now is the upstairs is done and. Uh, We've got the purser screen, which is highly recommended. We have a video on it. And um, the only the only problem is our neighbour has gone and they were at windbreak. They provided a nice windbreak. It was a big white uh, camper van. So park. selfish some people are. Very <laughs> selfish, very selfish. So selfish. And they were parked next to us and they provided a windbreak and now they're gone, which is a bit of a problem because, do you hear that? That was rain. So now we're just going to have some these, and we're going to listen to a few sounds and have a can of Guinness, and we're going to relax. And this is Camper Van 101, isn't it? There's mm Eminem. -hmm. I'm not sure. Is it recording on you? I can't see. I don't. It is, yeah, it is. Is it is. I'm a pirate. Pirate. Right. Okay, bye bye. Bye.
That's what the outside of the van looks like. While it's pissing rain. So we have the horses straight up. We're parked on the we're parked on the doohickeys, the levelers, and this is the spot. Yeah. Go away! To my castle! Ah! The castle's falling! No! Daddy! I... This was my castle. Now you're gonna get trapped in the darkness. Can't, can't see anything. Turn on the light off. Is that saying boat chips or four? What? Have you seen how flooded outside it is? Really? I had no idea. Look at it, look, it's all flooded, look. I hope we don't drown. What do you think? Do you think maybe camping beside uh, the ocean oh, during the storm was a bad idea? A terrible idea. Do you think it's a bad idea? Terrible. I think it's a bad idea. Oh, oh. Why? What? Don't let the view fool you. It was the windiest night ever. That was just from your bomb. Mm. It was super, super windy um, and very rainy and uh, Vanessa slept upstairs, I slept down here to the man and I did think at one stage I was, I was a bit nervous, I was I was worried that the van was going to, there was going to be damage to the superstructure upstairs or something like that, I really did. It was just so windy, so persistent, but it seems to be okay. I have to say, this double glazing is very good. If you're getting a van, top tip. I think, I'm not sure if it's a, I think you can get single glazing. Really? Yeah, but that's single glazing, but this is double glazing around here. Mm. I tell you, it's fantastic. Um. Had the heater on too all night. Had the heater on too. And that kept, I had it on a five, and that was too warm. So I turned it down to two, and I just taken over all night quietly. Dad. The van, the van, oh, I'm, I'm trying to make a point. So the van was nice and warm. The only thing was the wind and the noise. You know, you'd get used to it. But I think, um, say, first night out of a house, and to being exposed to it, it was just a bit kind of... Also, it was flooding on the, along that road, and I was getting nervous about that too. I, I did know the storm was coming, so it is my own fault. But I think it's part of them. Um, Christian and I were fine. It's you part of life. Sad, you and Christian were fine. We are fine, it wasn't bothering us. Barely an inconvenience. Barely an inconvenience. At one point, I thought the purser screen was going to come off. Oh, that purser screen saved the day as well, didn't it? Oh, yeah. 
I have to say. Why did I wet her? Why would I pick up the princess grade cable? Why is an arms about that coming off too? Huh? I had visions of trying to. I could hear it at the back. I had visions of us having to try and take it off. Yeah. At one stage I was going to wake really? and say we'd go home. Really? Yeah. You wouldn't have been able to drive. I'd have to drive. I'm sure I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I had uh, a few beers. I would have to drive home and there wouldn't have been a chance in the hell of that happening at that time of night in that wedding. Very irresponsible. And oh, it's grand. I was just... It's you just... just moved up into that little square up in the town. the plav and move. No, it's just, it's just being dramatic. You were? Yeah. I told you, Dr. Phil is teaching me to think out all the anxiety things first. What's the worst thing that can happen? Yeah? Yeah. And what was the worst thing that could happen? Last night? Yeah. That, the roof kind of blew slightly, but I mean, well, I can climb down, we can pull it down, we can get it fixed. Oh, I know, yeah, I know. You know, a, a thing popped into my mind, actually, during the night, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about him actually. And what I was thinking was that um, what I was thinking was that we live our lives we we live our lives in the same way we live our lives in the same way that we treat our children in that you complain to them and give out to them and boss them around and all that kind of stuff, right? But if anything happened to them, you'd be devastated. And then you'd be kind of, what if, why didn't I? And I think the thing is you should just live your life generally like that. Anyway, you should live it on the other side of not taking it for granted and uh, treat it as if it's precious all the time. I'll be there on the side of caution. Yeah, but I think that's how we probably, well, not everybody, obviously, people, I don't want people saying to me now, I don't treat my children like that, but you know what I mean. They so, should. yeah, so you should live your life that way. And I think that's part of the reason I came away during the storm is because just the sort of experience. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good crack. I, I really didn't think it was that bad line. So are you saying give out to your kids? No. Well, genuinely didn't talk. think it was that bad up there at all. Yeah? Yeah, well, like, it, it, it was grand. I've actually, I've slept up there more uncomfortable on nights where it wasn't stormy. Technically, but it was actually. Is that because I was down here with Kristen? Possibly, yeah, because I slept in the middle of the bed, so I wasn't, I wasn't um, pushed to the side because you take up a lot of space. Thank you. You're welcome. Your head, it is not that melt. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was grand. It was a bit. It was. It was. It was windy. It was windy. It was rainy, but it wasn't. Um, it wasn't unbearable. That was the key. Keep me a little loving more. Well, okay, so, what's the plan, Zenvi? Well, I'll need a coffee. Oh, very good. Now, that's the only other thing. I only put seven litres in the tank. I thought there was more water in it. Yeah. But yeah. We, we've run out of, we've put, run out of water in the, in the, in the van. Put the camera. And at this point, if you're looking at it and you're going, that bloke's a moron, you're right. Yes. That's not very nice. He absolutely Why is. Why am I a moron? Imagine putting seven litres and knowing we need the water for pasta, we need it for brushing teeth, we'll need it for kettles of water for tea, we'll need it for washing up. Imagine seven litres. Genius. Anyway. <laughs> I'll bleep all that out. I'll put in, I'll take, I'll say genius. I'm going to talk over and go, he's a genius. <laughs> so, the other thing was, um, yeah, so we ran it. So what happened was, again, top tip for people, um, or not, is that um, I um, I topped it up the last time we came away. I put in two, so of the watering can, that put in 14. But you must have used them all. I didn't realise. So and I put in seven yesterday. So obviously we found the amount we need. And I've often wondered that. I've often wondered just how much water we need on these kind of overnight trips. And the answer is clearly... More than seven litres. Well, about 14 litres. When was the last time we went away that you put in more? The last trip we did. When we went down to Mahan. Mahan Falls. 
We didn't use any water that day, Jay, so the water has gone somewhere. Well, I put in, um... Well, you didn't open the valve or anything, did you? What did we have for food that day? <laughs> did you definitely check the water that there's nothing left? Yeah, the, 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 the uh, tap ran dry. And there's nothing that the tank saying it's empty. Unless unless the valve's slightly open, did you knock the valve? There's a valve for draining that tank. How would I knock that? Where is it? When, when you're tidying up, you could have touched the valve. I probably did. I wouldn't have purposely done it. There is a valve. I mean, maybe there isn't a valve. There's a valve for the grey water tank. No, I'd say we just used it. Anyway, enough for this. Talk to you later. at your destination at 11.46 a.m. Two hours. So, that's the end of the trip. I'm going to go home. I'll be home in two hours. Um, it was good, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was good. The weather was mental, though. I don't know if I'd go away again during the storm. Didn't mind me. Okay, fair enough. Just the, the only thing is, the issues are... The door got caught by the wind when we were trying to close the roof. The canopy nearly got caught in the scissor mechanism. It was actually in it as it was closing. We need to get one of those bungee cords to keep it in. I keep meaning to get one of them. Uh, other than that, they're the only things because of the wind. Other than that, it was okay, wasn't it? Yeah, same old, same old, really, wasn't it? Yeah. So, listen. Um, He's wearing your top. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And uh, anything else to say? We love you. Keep we love you and wish you happiness and health and all that good stuff. Isn't that right? Keep it classy, San Diego. Peace. <laughs>